compute the following cross product. Then make a sketch showing the two vectors and their cross product. Now here we are asked to find the cross product of minus 3 i hat crossed with 4 k hat. So let's just get started here by defining the given vectors. So I'm going to go ahead and let my vector u be equal to negative 3 i hat. So let's keep in mind here that i hat is the standard unit vector in the x direction. So we can write this in its component form as 1, 0, 0. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to let vector v be defined as 4 k hat. So we have a scalar multiple of 4 multiplied by k hat. And again, we'll recall that that's the standard unit vector in the positive z direction. So the components will be 0, 0, 1. Beautiful. So we're ready now to go ahead and start computing the cross product. And I'll abbreviate compute the CP4 cross product. Now, before we begin, let's quickly recall the properties of our cross product. So if we let, say, C and D be two arbitrary scalars, so two real numbers, any real numbers your little heart desires, then we know that if we have a scalar multiple, say, C times vector U, crossed with a scalar multiple D times some vector V, and we should also make a love note here to ourselves that U and V are two arbitrary vectors in R3. So if we have the cross product of two scalar multiples like this, we can actually pull those scalar multiples out to the front and then simply take the cross product of the vectors. So that's what we're going to do here. So again, we are asked to compute the cross product of minus 3 i hat crossed with 4 k hat. So we can pull those two scalar multiples, negative, and, negative 3 and 4, to the front and then take the cross product of i hat and k hat. So in other words, we're going to have, and we need a tiny bit more room. So this is going to be negative 12 multiplied by the cross product of i hat, so that's the vector with the components 1, 0, 0, crossed with the k hat, or the vector with components 0, 0, 1. And we're ready to go. So let's put these two vectors into our 3 by 3 determinant. Now just be careful here not to forget the negative 12 out in front. So we have negative 12 multiplied by the determinant of that 3 by 3 matrix. So you have the three standard unit vectors, and then we have our first vector, 1, 0, 0, and our second vector, 0, 0, 1. And if you are ready to go, you can jump ahead and go right for computing that cross product. We'll take this one step further and actually break this down into those three 2 by 2 submatrices. So we have our first submatrix eliminating the row and column adjacent to i. We're left with 0, 0, 0, 1, i hat, minus the 2 by 2 submatrix defined by eliminating the row and column adjacent to vector j hat. So that's going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, j hat plus that 2 by 2 submatrix attained by eliminating the row and column adjacent to vector k hat. So that's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, multiplied by vector k hat. Beautiful! Now we're ready to start computing the cross product. So we're going to have negative 12 multiplied by 0 times 1 is 0, minus 0 times 0 is 0, i hat, minus 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0 times 0 is 0, j hat, plus, 
And last but not least, we have 1 times 0 is 0, minus 0 times 0 is 0. Okay, hat. So this leaves us with negative 12 multiplied by 0, i hat, minus 1 times j hat, plus 0, k hat. Which, of course, we can also write simply as negative 12 multiplied by minus j hat. And a negative times a negative leaves us with positive 12 j hat. Woo! -hoo! So therefore, the cross product of minus 3 i hat crossed with the vector 4 k hat is equal to 12 j hat. Or we can write this as the vector in component form, 12 times a vector with the components, 0, 1, 0. And so this is our beautiful final answer here for the cross product of these two vectors. And we're ready now to go ahead and sketch a graph of these three vectors all together. So here we go. We want to sketch the graph of these three vectors in space. So before we begin, let's keep in mind that we're going to let vector u be minus 3 i hat or negative 3, times the vector with components 1, 0, 0. We're going to let vector v be defined as 4 k hat, or in its component form, that's 4 times the vector with the components 0, 0, 1. And last but not least, we just found the cross product of these two vectors, or minus 3 i hat, crossed with 4 k hat, which produced positive 12 j hat, or 12 times the vector with components, 0, 1, 0. So here we go. Space. We have the z axis. We have our x axis. And last but not least, we have the y axis. Beautiful. So we have z, x, and y. So let's incorporate a scale here. So for x, we can do a 3 by 3 scale. Say that's 3, 6, negative 3, negative 6. For our y-axis, we could also use a 3 scale. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12. We'll do a couple in the negative direction as well. And last but not least, we have the z-axis. And here I'll do a 4 by 4 scale. So we have 4. 8, 12. Now you of course don't have to use the same scale as me, but here we go. We're using this scale to begin. So the first vector we need to sketch is vector u. So the initial point is at the origin and it points to minus 3. So there is vector u being defined as minus 3 i hat. Our next vector is vector v, which is pointing, so it's, again, its initial point is at the origin, and it's pointing to the ordered triplet, 0, 0, 4. So that has our vector v, that's 4, k, hat. And last but not least, we have the cross product of these two vectors. So you have the same initial point at the origin, and this vector points to the ordered triplet, 0, 12, 0. So that's our cross product of vector u and vector v, which we again found to be 12 j hat. So looking at our sketch here, we can really appreciate how the cross product of these two vectors is a vector perpendicular to the plane containing vector u and vector v. So in other words, this cross product is perpendicular to the x, z plane. 